hello guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video today i will be doing one maintenance item that i haven't really gotten around to doing on the rock so the front and rear differential axles um differentials i haven't opened them yet to check on the amount of oil and there's also the transfer case which I haven't really looked into it. So uh, those items, I'm gonna be crawling down underneath the rocks or today to find out exactly what all uh, might be needed to top off those differentials because uh, mine is a 2018. I believe it was well sorted out, uh, but the reports I've been seeing ever since I bought my rock saw was that most people had the experience of uh, or well most people who reported uh had the experience that the oil in the differentials was low so today i will go ahead and crack my differentials open um i haven't really forded deep water for long uh it's been up to water where the axles were covered uh, that's for sure uh, but it was just not for too long so i'll see the condition of the oil in there and uh let's get started so for the front and rear differentials it calls for a gl5 and for the transfer case it asks for a gl4 so here i have a um, and the weight should be 80 90 and here i have a 75 140 gl5 and for the royal purple it covers both gl5 and uh, gl4 so uh can i get that to focus there so uh the plan is i will first open up uh, the drain plug and see the quality of the oil that comes out and then if it's clean and looks okay then i will go ahead and just top off the differentials so let's get going so i found this allen wrench that says number 10 and it fits perfectly there but when i go to turn it <laughs> you could actually literally turn it with one finger that thing was barely on oh my gosh okay let's take it off yeah guys just make sure your everything is tight of all the things on the rock saw that i've checked this is the one i have never really checked and turns out it's super super loose and again now we have the drain plug which is here at the bottom so like they say always start by making sure you can take off the um the fill port before you drain your oil otherwise you might get stuck if this one is uh, rusted in place okay i just finished uh filling up the rear axle and uh let's see about how much i would say that thing took a little bit more than half a quart so this is a quart and i'm pretty sure i used about half of this or a little bit more than half but the rear is now done and uh, i replaced the plug and tightened everything up make sure everything was snug now let's move ahead and do the front one more reason why it's so good to have a lift on your rock saw is that it makes walking underneath so easy i just use a slider i don't have to jack up the vehicle and right there we have the fuel plug and underneath we should have the drain plug so uh, while you guys are watching let's go ahead and find out how much how tight uh, the fuel plug is in the rear it was quite loose you can see the number of threads that we can see so i can almost tell that it's super super loose that's just too many threads is yep minimal effort and also i had to tighten the bottom drain uh, the drain plug on the other side because it was super loose also so don't forget guys check 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 your rock source so we are underneath the rock saw on the passenger side and you can see that's the engine up front then you have the gearbox 
which is right here. Let me uh, switch the lenses so you guys can see better. Oh, I'm stuck on this lens. Well, here is the gearbox. You have the bell housing there and the gearbox, and that's where you have uh, the joint, and then you have the transfer case right there in the back. That's still the gearbox, I think. All that long piece, and then here's the transfer case. And the transfer case drain plug is right here. You guys can see it's been leaking. And then the fuel port is it's gonna be somewhere here on top. Uh, let me just go up a little bit more. There it is. To the extreme left of your screen. Pull out. See if we can have a better view from this angle. So that's the fuel uh, fuel plug, and underneath you have the drain plug for the transfer case. All right, let's get going. All right, guys, I did complete the front uh, differential, and what I noticed was the oil from the front is uh, was quite full so i didn't have to add as much and also the oil seemed to be much cleaner so uh, i might have to totally flush the one in the rear because i could definitely tell the difference so those are the two things i noticed the one from the rear was uh, definitely darker and uh, it just looked a little bit dirtier than the one up front the uh, oil up front was clear and it looked like it had barely been been used you know it just looked like oil straight out from from uh, from the shop so uh i plan on changing the differential oil in the rear i think it calls for about 1.6 quarts so um when changing the oil here in the front or trying to top it off there is this bar that will be in your way so what i did was i fashioned a small funnel which was able to get above the bar and i was able to top it off so now i'm moving over to the differential uh, to the transfer case so i'll let you guys know how it goes i'll show you uh, what where the uh, drain and fill plugs are and uh, see if i can uh, check the level so guys i just finished doing the transfer case unfortunately i didn't have the right fitting to tighten up uh, the drain plug so as you guys saw it was sweeping a little bit so i think uh that's gonna be for another day but um yeah the transfer case was also low it took about half a quart of oil and uh and then it was full so uh, do check your differentials and transfer case i haven't checked the transmission yet uh, but I don't know what to attribute the low oil uh, in the transfer case to because at the very bottom like I showed you guys it's, uh, it was whipping out a little bit of oil uh, I don't have that many miles on my Rocksaw um, it's mostly parked but uh, yeah just thought I should share with you my experience uh, uh, and how I feel about the differentials and topping off uh, the oil thanks for joining me uh, time to go pack the Rocksaw hop in and uh, ever since I changed to the Walmart battery I haven't had any issues it always starts up no issues step on the clutch there you go Alright guys, catch you on the next one. Bye now.